So we are sitting here today with Kelly Russell, author of Girl's Guide to Chicago, and her beautiful dog, Bella. <laughs> Loved the book. It was such a great read, especially for someone who lives in Chicago or for someone who has just moved to Chicago. I think it's an excellent book. I've always wanted to write a book, and um, a few years ago, I started writing guides for girls about everything fun to do in the city. And I just always had this idea in my head of writing a book about my experiences of living in Chicago. I think, you know, there's always books about, you know, New York and LA and Paris, but there's never really anything about Chicago. That's true, you rarely hear about Chicago. Right. Which is surprising. Exactly. Because there's so much to do. Exactly. And so I thought it was really important to put something out there for everyone to really learn what Chicago is really about. And that is actually my favorite part of your book is that at the end, you have a complete guide of all the different places that she mentions throughout the book, the address and a little description about them. Right. And that is my favorite part. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just thought that was like so different to make it, you know, because it's called a, gr a Girl's Guide to Chicago. So even though it is a novel, yes, it also kind of just guides you through, you know, Chicago and then you don't have to remember every single place that you read about. You can just go to the back and, you know, make your own adventures. I, I just wanted to show people what it's like to started you know your career here and how to meet new friends in the city and like of course all the amazing places to go to in the city so well speaking of all the amazing places to go to in the city what would be your recommendations for someone coming to even just visit now in okay. the fall okay in the fall if you want to do something touristy something i really love to do is the free walking tours i don't know if you've ever heard about I these i actually have not they're really great um, all you have to do is tip your guide and they take you around the coolest neighborhood in Chicago and it's a great way to learn about the city and also like see kind of the city on foot. Brewery Row up no. in Ravenswood. No. It's a really cool place. It's kind of hidden in the middle of the city and there's a bunch of breweries to go to and I think for the fall that's like a really fun thing to do. I highly recommend getting a dinner reservation um, over on Randolph Street in West Loop. Mm -hmm. I think that's really cool. Um, and why the weather's so nice, take advantage of going to the river walk and hanging out with friends. Absolutely, and getting that's a drink. one of my favorite places. Yes. Anytime I experience something new in Chicago that I want to share with everyone, I usually write a guide on it. And um, I do like a fall bucket list every year, so that's going to be coming out. What are some of your favorites? I think my favorite places um, to go to would be RL. Mm -hmm. um, I just think that is such a cozy place and I absolutely love going there for uh, grilled cheese and tomato soup. Oh, I think best. that's like, yeah, that's just like a really <laughs> fun thing to do. I love um, the Hampton Social. Sure. I think that's a really fun spot to do, uh, to go to. When it is getting cooler out, if you're ever feeling kind of blah, I think uh, Summer House, it's a really fun spot to kind of like make you feel like you're, you know, enjoying the summer again. <laughs> a hidden gem that I actually love in my neighborhood is the Crapery. Mm -hmm. I love going there. It's a re really great. Um, on Tuesday nights, actually, they have half price bottles of wine. Oh. So, and one of my favorite bottles Done. of wine. Sold. Yeah. <laughs> one of my favorite bottles of wine is only $15. So oh, it's a great, fantastic. you know, night out with the girls or even a date night. What I love about um, the city is Christmas time. Do you have one thing that you would recommend people doing around the yeah. holidays? My most favorite holiday tradition, um, I actually have two that I do every year. Um, the first one is with my girlfriends. We always go, we kind of kick off the holiday season at the Peninsula oh. um, and we do the chocolate bar mm -hmm. and that's really fun. Another thing I love to do um, with my family is go to the music box mm -hmm. and we always go see like It's a Wonderful Life and that's such a great tradition. Oh, so great. Yeah. If you want to do something a little bit touristy, take the holiday train. Like Santa comes, it's like a whole big thing that all are passing out candy canes. It's like, oh yeah, it's crazy, oh, but it's really great. fun. Totally worth it. One of the things that I love about this book is that it speaks to um, a woman coming to the city for the first time. Can mm -hmm. you speak a little bit about that? Yeah, I always think it's really hard whenever you move to a new place, especially to a big city. It can feel very overwhelming. Um, and so I think my book really helps give women the confidence they need to move to the city. It kind of, you know, it almost like walks them through like all the little things you have to do, like getting your first apartment, you know, taking the train by yourself, like, you know, just getting to work and meeting new friends. So I think, you know, it's like, I think after you read a story like this, you're like, okay, I can do it and I can 
you know, I can, I can move and I can follow my dreams and I think that's really important. So what is next for you? Um, well, I definitely will continue to write on my blog, Girls Guide Chicago, and I hope to write another novel. I've already outlined my second book. I hope to write more. That's really, truly what I love to do. So, and I love the whole process of writing my first book. It was amazing, and I was like instantly hooked. I loved it, so. Well, I have to tell you, when I read it, I couldn't put it down because I had to know what happened to you. Yes. And I also love just hearing about all the fantastic places that I absolutely love in Chicago. Yeah. So it's a great read and definitely one that everyone should give to someone who's moving to Chicago or has just um, moved here or still has their even heart in Chicago. Definitely. Um, because definitely. it is a little Chicago love story. Fantastic. Well, yeah. thank you so much for having us. Thank you so much. We're still looking forward to your next book. Oh, great. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.